Dillon. From Watson Stadium to Youngberg Hill, here we are. I've been through many challenges, moments in life, more than most. But you've been my biggest one yet. I'm, oh my God. <laughs> without pause, without doubt, in a heartbeat, I will keep choosing you. You are my rock and my forever. I love you more than anything, Philip, and I promise you, no matter where life takes us, I will be right by your side. Ride or die, baby. Love you more. Don't. I know I've said it before, but it deserves to go riding on this day. What I love most about you is the challenges, the one that got us to this day. The one I see you conquer regularly, and most importantly, the one that we beat together. I can't wait to see what dares to challenge us going forward. I actually get to take credit for introducing them, as you heard already, but I'm taking all that I can. The moment I met Phil, I looked at him and thought Dylan would think this guy is so hot. I remember thinking they would be just like Barbie and Ken. Little did I know that I would be right and that I would be getting to give this speech at their wedding. I remember the first time I introduced Phil and Dylan to each other. We were at the Devs game and he thought, he, when he first saw her, he thought she was beautiful as hell and fell head over heels. For you two as a couple, I have a few words of advice. Choose to love each other, even in those moments when you struggle to like each other. Love is a commitment, not a feeling. In your marriage, many obstacles will come your way, but promise to never go to bed angry or without saying I love you. There couldn't be a better couple out there. You guys are truly a match made in heaven. I love you guys so much. Thank you for being my brother and sister. You guys literally mean the world to me. You guys will always be my family. To my daughter and to the groom, Phil. Have patience. Be a good listener. Share. And when I mean share, I mean everything. A happy marriage is a long conversation which will always seem too short. Please raise your glasses for Dylan and Phil, Mr. and Mrs. Hickox. Dylan and Philip. They met for the very first time at Oregon Ducks football game in 2016. Go Ducks! <laughs> Today's uh, wedding vows include a beautiful bride, a studly man to the left of me. Tonight receptions mean champagne toast, speeches from loved ones, and of course good, good food, drinks, and dancing. But marriage, marriage is much more than an evening of fun with family and friends. It's a lifetime of a husband and wife choosing each other over and over again. Do you, Dylan, promise to love Philip, respect him, to share your life and your dreams? I do. <laughs> Hang on. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> With a home that is a place of love, happiness, commitment, and growth? I do. <laughs> <laughs> do you, Philip, promise to love Dylan, respect her, to share your life, your dreams, to build a home with her that is a place of love, happiness, commitment, and growth? I do. <laughs> By the American ministry and the great state of Oregon, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Philip, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> the very first time, I'm honored to introduce to you all Mr. and Mrs. Pickoffs. Yeah, <laughs>